How can we know the Yamani? Sayyid Ahmad al Hassan explains and says, Firstly, Al Yamani is someone obligatory to obey no matter what this obedience was and how they made us understand it. So, can someone who is obligatory to obey be left out without an explanation, not even a name, neither a description, nor a place of appearance, etc.? It is obligatory to obey him such that turning away from him will lead to eternal hell. So can this obligation be left out without an explanation about his position? And for this matter, how will people specify the Yamani during his claim to avoid turning away and not reside in hellfire eternally? There is no other way. The only way provided is to connect the Yamani to another personality, which was accurately described. And the reason why they, peace be upon them, made him like this it is so that the solution to this matter will be an evidence for the true Yamani. The entire solution is like a secret word or the password that leads to the secret. The religious accounts exist and they exist with everyone, exactly like how the letters and numbers are provided for everyone. But who would know the secret word, for example, like a storage at a bank, except the rightful owner? If the bank wanted him to enter the secret word to unlock the storage and take what is inside it it recognizes whether the person was the owner of the storage or a liar <clears throat> moreover the secret word is composed of letters and numbers and is provided to everyone and can be used by everyone but it's impossible for anyone to open it except the rightful owner of the storage who can arrange these letters and numbers such that the arrangement will become verified to be open and that is the condition according to the texts Whoever arranges them in a clear form will unlock the storage and will become the rightful owner and no one else. No one will unlock it except the rightful owner. Whoever doubts, his doubts will not benefit him because on him is to see if the storage was unlocked. Did he reveal a secret? If it was unlocked, the matter has ended and the one who unlocked it is the rightful owner. Who then can unlock it except the rightful owner? A lot of these people, whenever they see that the evidence is strong and powerful, they will say to the Ansars that he is a smart person and has employed the text for his own right. In other words, when they see that the storage was unlocked and the secret has been revealed, they still don't want to admit it to the one who revealed it, that he is the rightful owner when he unlocked it and ended the matter. Why didn't Muhammad and the family of Muhammad, peace be upon them, didn't say in openness that the Yamani's name is such and such, and so that the matter can end? Isn't that better? If they, peace be upon them, did that, the legitimacy of the proof would have perished along with the accounts that I've explained for you. So the matter being in this way will make the rightful owner a possessor of a proof simply by using the texts along with the way that represents a solution to the secrets. Or as what I have said to you, he will come with a password or a secret word like what was mentioned in the account. From Malik son of Al-Juhni, he said, I said to Abi Ja'far, peace be upon him, we have described the rightful owner with a description that is unlike any other person from the people. He, Imam said, By Allah, it will not be that at all until he becomes the one to use it as a proof against you and calls you towards him. Ghaybat al-Nu'mani, page 377. How can his proof be authentic to the people? Because he will unlock the secret and will explain the truth from the accounts and will use the will as a proof since Allah has made it hidden for him in the books of the people. How many Shias were in need of a will to use as a proof upon others? Why haven't they used it as a proof throughout all these years on their disputants? And it's the only one there. It is with them and they report it, but they haven't paid attention that this will was during his prophet's death. And moreover, they are scholars and understand this matter very well. Isn't this the will of Allah, that he kept it away even from those who narrate it? Why did he keep them away from it and from using it as a proof, since by that it can strengthen the true religion? He kept them away from the will because no one will claim it except its rightful owner.